Hello everyone and welcome to a new edition of the Jazz Flashers video cast, which will be available on YouTube and also in Jazz Flashers, the blog about jazz that I write and that you can read at jazzflashers.blogspot.com. My name is Anton Garcia Fernandez and today I'd like to start off the new year ride by talking about some of the Christmas gifts that I've received and which are, as usual, either books about jazz or jazz CDs or records. In this case I'm going to talk about five jazz CDs that uh, some family members have given me and also about a couple that I found myself in an old um, used bookstore here in Pittsburgh, North Carolina where I'm spending the Christmas holidays with my wife and my daughter at my in-laws place. Uh, and there is in this little town, Pittsburgh, North Carolina, a very interesting uh, bookstore, used bookstore that also has some uh, used jazz records and jazz CDs. So I got to go. I went there and got pretty lucky this time around, particularly because of this very first album that I have right here in my hand, an album by Dodo Green. And I must admit, I didn't know much about Dodo Green. It's called My Hour of Need, and um, I took a chance on it because I must admit I didn't know the singer, but I looked at the cover, and most of all, I turned it over and I saw that Dodo Green here, uh, who's a fantastic vocalist, is also accompanied by some amazing jazz musicians. There's a stellar cast right here. Ike Quebec on tenor sax, Eddie Chambly on tenor sax, Grant Green on guitar, Sir Charles Thompson playing the organ, Mill Hinton playing the bass, and I could go on and on and on. This is a lovely record by Dodo Green, who um, only recorded a few sessions, very few actually, in the early 1960s. This one is from 1962, released by Blue Note, and it's really a lovely album. There's a lot of uh, jazz and rhythm and blues, and also a whole bunch of soul, very elegant singer. Uh, does great versions of songs like My Hour of Need, Trouble in Mind, I Won't Cry Anymore. She even tries some country standards like You Don't Know Me and You Are My Sunshine, which might sound surprising, but she makes it work. Lots of soul in the voice of Dodo Green, and this is a great album, My Hour of Need, from 1962. And if we go... Uh, I think uh, we've got to travel about 40 years for this second album that I have in my hand. Hank and Frank. Of course, Hank is Hank Jones, and Frank is Frank West. This was recorded in 2003. Uh, Hank Jones is, of course, playing the piano. Frank West plays both the tenor sax and the flute. Uh, Mickey Roker is on drums on this one. It's an album in a uh, quintet setting uh, with quite a few... Standards, All or Nothing at All, one of my favorites right there. Autumn Serenade, The Very Thought of You by Ray Noble. Just One of Those Things by Cole Porter. And then, of course, several compositions by Hank Jones and Frank Wes. Great meeting of two marvelous jazz musicians, Hank and Frank. And if you like this one, there's a second volume called Hank and Frank 2, which I haven't um, heard yet, but if it's as good as this one, and I believe it probably is, uh, it is a fantastic companion to Hank and Frank, recorded in 2003. Those are the two albums that I found at the uh, used uh, record and bookstore. And um, I'm very excited to own these, in particular this one here by Dodo Green. Let's talk now about uh, three uh, CDs that um, I receive as Christmas gifts from my wife and from some family members. And two of them are actually uh, fairly recent releases. The three of them, I would say, are fairly recent. One of them is this fantastic piece of work. Miles Davis at Newport, 1953 to 1973, a 20-year span. Uh, and, of course, it's Miles Davis live at the uh, Newport Jazz Festival. Uh, and uh, we find, of course, uh, different uh, formations over the years and the uh, appearances of Miles Davis at the uh, Newport Jazz Festival definitely mirror all the uh, changes and all the advancements and all the evolutions that um, marked his career between 1953 
and 1973. This is the volume four of the uh, bootleg series, which has been um, issued by uh, Columbia Legacy. And there are several other volumes that are interesting, but this is definitely a must-have. If you like Miles Davis, if you like good jazz music, this is an album to have absolutely. Miles Davis at Newport between 1953 and 1973. Four amazing CDs by the great Miles Davis. And these two albums I have here on the table um, have been issued uh, not too long ago by Resonance Records. and um, They include music that um, hadn't been released before, so this makes these albums even more interesting. The first one of them is Bill Evans's Some Other Time. And, of course, Bill Evans was one of the first jazz musicians I ever heard when I began uh, getting interested in jazz. And right here we have uh, Some Other Time, The Lost Session from the Black Forest, recorded in 1968 in Germany. It had been lost. It has been fortunately recovered and features Bill Evans playing piano, Eddie Gomez on bass, and Jack the Jeanette on drums. What an amazing album. Listening to new music, music that I uh, hadn't heard before by Bill Evans is always welcome, and this two-CD set is uh, definitely worth it. Two um, CDs full of great music in a trio setting, Bill Evans, some other time. Resonance Records put it out not too long ago. And finally, to finish this uh, overview of five albums that I have recently acquired, um, another great re uh, release from Resonance Records. This is Larry Young in Paris, the ORTF recordings. These are recordings made in the 1960s by organist Larry Young, who also plays the piano on <laughs> some of the tracks. And um, there, these were recordings made for French radio in the 1960s, and they include uh, some interesting musicians here playing with Larry Young. Uh, Young plays both the organ and the piano, as I said. Nathan Davis is on tenor saxophone. Woody Shaw on trumpet. And uh, Billy Brooks on drums on one of these sessions. And then there's another session where... Larry Young is accompanied by uh, mostly French musicians, among them the great pianist Jacques Dieval. Fortunately, uh, Resonance Records have reissued this album uh, with uh, very interesting liner notes, wonderful packaging, and marvelous sound. Larry Young in Paris, the ORTF recordings, uh, and Bill Evans some other time, another one of the releases by Resonance Records that uh, have come out not too long ago, and then I'm happy to hold in my hand here because that means I'm going to get to listen to this uh, in, well, just a few minutes. As soon as I stop uh, doing this video cast, I'll pop the CDs on the um, CD player and uh, listen to them. Uh, I've, of course, already heard samples of these albums. And that's about it for this uh, brief um, Video cast here are the CDs right here in my hand. Uh, wonderful um, gifts from family um, and some great finds here in North Carolina. Uh, I've made my uh, Christmas uh, very happy and merry and bright. So, uh, thanks a lot for uh, watching the video cast. I hope you find some records among the ones I talked about that might be interesting to you. And if so, just let me know what you think if you get to listen to them. My name is Anton Garcia Fernandez. If you enjoyed the video cast, you can go to jazzflashes.blogspot.com and there you will find um, a lot of the uh, articles about jazz musicians and jazz records that I write regularly on that blog. And thanks again for watching this, and uh, a merry uh, 2017 to you all. Happy New Year, and thank you very much for listening and watching.